I ordered silicon powered 2 terabyte NVMe M.2 PCIe SSD, which I have right here. The manufacturer claims it can read at 3,400 megabytes per second and write at 3,000 megabytes per second. Now, I bought this SSD at $239.99 before tax from Amazon Warehouse. This SSD retails for $259.99. Now, for the enclosure, I bought one from a manufacturer named TDBT. This enclosure supports USB 3.1 Gen 2 and it can support up to 10 gigabit per second. 10 gigabit per second should be roughly equal to 1250 megabytes per second. The SSD I bought supports the read speed up to 3400 megabytes per second. But this enclosure only supports the transfer speed of 1250 megabytes per second. So, I'm not fully utilizing the potential of the silicon powers SSD. And you're right. I have a new video coming out in the near future, which I will test the enclosure that supports the transfer speed of up to 40 gigabit per second. And I will provide comparison in future video. Now, you can see that this box is all taped up like this. It's because I bought this at a discount at Amazon Warehouse. You can see that here, they have a sticker set that says Amazon Warehouse, great deals on quality used items. The box might be beaten up like this, but what matters is what's inside. So I'm going to open this now. Right. Silicon Power M.2 PCIe Gen 3 SSD 2TB. This is what you can see on the back side. Alright, so now I'm going to open this enclosure. Alright, okay. so this see TDBT. Now, this is all made of aluminum. We'll take a closer look. board inside. Take this out. Beautiful. This is what it looks like on the back side. Now you see this socket, it's USB 3.1 Gen 2. It's not Thunderbolt 3. Alright, let's check what they provided. Alright, bolts, nuts, later cable and they got the heat sink and pad oh and they provide a screwdriver here if you don't have one they provide this for your convenience which is nice we'll start out with this SSD this sticker it came like this and I'm just gonna peel this off I don't know how much this thin film interferes with the heat dissipation. I don't think you have to worry about it, but I'm going to do that just because. I don't recommend peeling this off because as you can see here it says warranty void if removed. So if you want to remove this sticker, then please do that at your own risk. It's got the Fison controller, which is very reliable. Okay. This is the base board that this SSD needs to be inserted in and screwed on. So let's do that. All you have to do is just stick this in. And when you stick this in, one side of it floats like this. All you have to do is just Press it down, and here you see a hole. You take these nut that came with the enclosure, you place it like this, so there's space, actual space in between this board and SSD itself. 
can just screw this on. All right, so it's screwed on. All right. Peel this off. All right. All you have to do is just place this over SSD. Okay, now let's get this. And then I'm going to place this over the SSD and this stick of gum. Now if you flip it over, there are four holes here that you need to screw. Okay. And one more here. Alright, so this is how it looks. And now this is ready to be inserted into the enclosure. Now this cover that goes in here, this might be plastic. It has a little bit of flex. Not a big deal because this entire case is made of aluminum. I don't think this has much to do with heat dissipation after all. So all right, so this is it. Assembly is done. All right. I'm going to run crystal disk mark. And here we can check the read and write speed. From the drop down menu, I'm gonna select letter B because this is the SSD and I'm gonna run them all. And see what we get. So now we have it. We have the read speed of 10,048 megabyte per second and we have the write speed of 948 megabyte per second. Um, I would say this is well within range of speed that the manufacturer promises. The enclosure is good to go. By ordering the SSD and enclosure and by assembling on my own, it saved me quite a few dollars when compared to buying a fabricated SSD from the likes of Western Digital or SanDisk, you name it. I hope you don't get me wrong. Western Digital or Samsung offer reliable and wonderful SSDs which you don't need to assemble yourself before using them. But if you happen to like saving money without compromising on the specs like I do, I hope you liked the video. I hope to see you all again right here at Zapped.